Hey everybody and welcome to Our Green Acres. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all how we can make some beautiful bunny rabbit decor. I'm also going to bring y'all along to Goodwill and I'm going to take y'all thrift shopping with me just to see what kind of treasures that we can find this week. Also, I want to tell a huge thank you to today's sponsor and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's in this box and what a beautiful piece I got for my home. So y'all stay tuned for that. Also at the end, after the Goodwill shopping trip, I've got a big announcement, some exciting news. So hope y'all enjoy the video. The first piece we're gonna make over and make some pretty bunny decor out of is gonna be this piece I found at Goodwill. This piece right here come right out and that's great. We're gonna disassemble as much of it as we could. There was a metal piece on it that I think was more like the Empire State Building. It just had some screws in it and I removed it. So what is left, I'm gonna paint with a couple layers of white chalk paint. Once it dried really well, I wanted to give it a really distressed, rustic look. So I really went after it with my electric sander. This is just an electric hand sander that I got at Walmart. It was very inexpensive, but let me tell you something, this really does the trick. So I went around the whole piece, gave it a good distressing, and then brought it back inside. I'm gonna remove the burlap from that piece that we removed from the center of the frame, and now we're gonna give it a couple layers of white chalk paint. I am gonna use the smooth side versus this side, because I, I just want to give it a white background because I'm going to show you how we can take a beautiful tea towel and make a really pretty piece, you know, that you can use for wall decor or just set it up in your home. I gave it a couple of layers and let it dry. Now I'm going to take a couple of these beautiful tea towels. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. I love this one right here, so I'm going to go with it. Now I do not want to damage my tea towel, but if you do this project and you have a tea towel that you don't mind, you know, that it gets damaged, you, you can hot glue this. But so I don't damage my tea towel because I only have one of these and I absolutely love it and I want to use it again. But I do want to give you an idea of how you can take a beautiful tea towel. Since tea towels now have such beautiful graphics on them, they make great decor pieces. So I'm just going to use some painter's tape and the painter's tape won't leave any, you know, residue on my towel. But you, like I say, if you can use a tea towel and you don't mind the hot glue, hot glue in this would be perfect. You just want to pull it tight and make it smooth on the front and make sure you work out any wrinkles. And so I'm just working it around this piece, taping it down in the areas that I need it. Once we put it back in the frame, the tea towel will hold in place, but I did want to put it on the board, get it centered on there where I wanted it, and then I did go over it with my heat press, and I pressed it really well just to make sure it was laying flat and didn't have any wrinkles. Now, very carefully, I worked it back in the frame, and now that the towel is wrapped around this piece, it holds it in really good, and I don't even have to use those little metal tabs. So once I got that work back in the frame, that's all we have to do. I'm gonna add a decorative hook to this. I put a coffee filter DIY wreath that I've made in a previous video. I hung it on there just to give you an idea of what you can do with a piece like this. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey Comment below if y'all love bunnies as much as I do. I absolutely love them, and I think they are some of my favorite home decor besides Highland Cows. <laughs> I love Highland Cows, too. But I'm going to take this beautiful piece of Monaghan paper, and it has got several bunnies on it and different kinds of bunnies. And this is what I love. This is a really rustic piece of Monaghan paper, and I absolutely love the color of it, it is, you know, got the neutral rustic thing to it. 
but I cut this bunny out because I think he will fit perfect in this little shadow box that I got at Goodwill for $1.99. We don't have to do anything to it. I'm going to leave the background just the way it is. Using my straight cutter, I'm just going to go around. I'm cutting the bunny down to size to where he will fit in the little shadow box. Once I get him cut down, I'm going to place him in, make sure he fits really well. And once I know he does, I'm just going to go in now using a good quality glue stick. Just lather it on the base really well in all the areas and make sure you get the sides and the corners really well. Once you get your, your glue secured down, then just put your paper down. Press it down with your fingers really good, get it placed in, and then go over it with a brayer if you can and roll over it. And this will just flatten it out and make it look like it is just made into this piece. Now we've got a beautiful little shelf sitter that we can set out for all the seasons. Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with slaves Now I'm gonna take this plaque right here that somebody made. It says, you, me, and the kids. And I love these flowers. If y'all have followed me very long, y'all know these are my favorite flowers. I have several of these bouquets and these are all linked in my Amazon store. But somebody had hot glued those flowers at the top. So I just removed those. I'm gonna remove the nautical rope around the edges. And I'm also gonna remove that little emblem at the top and also the coating that's on the top of this. I just peeled a lot of it off using my fingers and what I couldn't get off with my fingers and I just took my little razor blade and worked it under and the paper come off really easy. I wanted just a clean surface and then I went over it with my electric sander and got some good distressing. But after I got that side done, I decided I had another idea. While we're on the bunny theme, I had another piece of beautiful bunny paper and I thought this will be perfect for this project. So I removed the hanger and I scraped off all the stickers. We don't have to do anything to this side, but I'm going to take this beautiful piece of Monahan paper that I got at Milton's Daughter. I'm going to leave a link to her website down below because this is where I get all of my beautiful Monahan papers. And y'all, if y'all have not ever you know, use Monahan papers. They are so easy. All you need is a good quality glue stick. That's right. We don't have to use any kind of liquid decoupage medium. A glue stick works perfect. So I'm just going to go in with my glue stick and I just use some glue sticks. I think these come from Walmart. I got these in a three pack on the craft section and they work great. But you just want to lather your glue stick on your project base really well. Secure your Monaghan paper down and I always roll over it with a brayer and just use your hands and press it down and make sure it is here to your surface really well. Once you get your um, Monaghan paper applied, then just go around using your finger sander, remove the excess paper, and that's all you got to do. Once the ex excess paper is removed, I'm going to go around, touch up my edges, and I'm just going to lightly go around with a little bit of dark wax. I don't want a lot on my paper, but I do want to just go around where I use my finger sander and make sure I fill in any of that, maybe that white paper residue that was left. And that is all we have to do. Now, I thought this bunny was the perfect thing for this beautiful plaque. These ribbons that you're seeing staged with my bunnies today come from Milton's daughter. So I just wanted to throw these in here. So if you're out shopping the Monaghan papers, throw some of these beautiful ribbons in your package also. They come in assorted colors and they're very budget friendly. Now wish upon a fallen star So all your secret dreams can come true now, I wanted to take just a minute and tell y'all the sponsor of today's video, and that is Costway. I have received several pieces of furniture and decor for my home from them, and I absolutely love each piece I have received so far. 
in the box, I received this beautiful chair. Y'all, this only took like 20 minutes for us to assemble. It's got a beautiful wood texture to it that would fit beautifully in any of your rooms. It is priced so budget friendly that get a pair of them, set them in a sitting area in your home. The price for two of these chairs is almost equivalent to one chair at a lot of places. So I highly recommend this one. It is very durable. It is very good quality. It was only like five very easy pieces for us to assemble. It comes with all the hardware you will need. And like I say, it took us less than 20 minutes to get it assembled. It comes with two really nice cotton linen cushions and they are you can take these off, remove them, and you can throw them in the washing machine for easy cleaning. They have extra padding on them, so it makes it very easy and comfortable just to sit and relax in this chair for hours. This would make a great chair, like I say, get a pair of these, put these in a, you know, a place where you may want to read, or just sit around, drink your coffee or your tea. Costway has been generous enough to offer my viewers a 10% off discount code. I will have the code pinned in a comment and also in my description box, along with a link to the chair that I received and also a link to Costway's website. So make sure to go out, check out Costway for all your indoor and outdoor decor and furniture needs. And again, I want to give a huge thank you to Cosway for sponsoring the video today and also for making my home a beautiful space to live in. Okay, hey, now let's make some more bunny decor. I'm going to take a couple of frames that I got at a yard sale a couple of years ago and I paid $1 each for them. These have little pieces of glass in them with a beautiful image in them and those images are glued in, but that's okay. I'm going to take the glass and I'm going to place it over this bunny sheet. I've got some of the cute little bunnies left and I took the bunny that would fit the best in this square glass. I just traced around it with my pencil and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to cut it out. And that is all I have to do. Now I'm just going to place it back into the frame, but first I'm going to wipe off any of my fingerprints and dirt that may be on that glass. You put it back in the frame, assemble it back, and I'll just push those little tabs back on the back, and that's all there is to this piece. Now this is great decor that you can use throughout the seasons. This is not just a spring or summer decor piece. You could also leave bunnies out for fall and winter. And I think these would make beautiful Christmas ornaments too. When Christmas rolls around, this would make some beautiful Christmas ornaments for your tree. And you get several of these bunnies on a sheet. But I'm just taking the round frame now. I'm just doing the same thing. I picked one of the bunnies that would fit in the round frame the best and capture most of the image. I'm just going to clean the glass off, assemble it back in the frame, and that's all there was to this. Now these little frames have some cute little bunny images in that I can hang on now some wreaths, some baskets. Just set these out throughout my home. Now I'm going to show you how we can upcycle this cutting board. It's more like a chalkboard in the center, but y'all look at the price of this, $1.99. I could not get this in my cart fast enough because look at the large size it is, but I have the perfect 
piece that's going to really transform this and make this into some beautiful decor. The website where I got all these beautiful Monaghan papers is called Milton's Daughter. I'm going to leave a link to her website down below, and she's also extended the discount code for 10% off Monaghan papers throughout the month of July. So I'm going to leave all the information for the discount code for the Monaghan papers down below. So make sure to go out, shop her website, and get some of these so you'll have them on hand for your projects. But those were just some that I have on hand, and I love to have them, you know, in my supplies. So when I find a piece like this, I can pull them out, and this one right here is going to fit perfect. I love the cream background on this because it doesn't have any borders, so it's going to fit on here perfect. I did score it with my fingernail down at one end, and I just folded the paper underneath. That way, I didn't have to worry about cutting it straight. I just folded it really straight and folded it under, and again, we're just going to use some good quality school glue, apply it to the cutting board, go over it and roll it down really well, using a brayer and just make sure you've got the paper adhered really well to the base of the project and that's all we have to do but look i don't know this right here was the perfect piece for this bunny because this monahan paper right here fit it, just perfect on it so i think this turned out beautiful and like i say this is now a piece that we can leave out for all the seasons Okay, y'all, it is time to go to Goodwill and let's do our thrift store shopping for the week. Y'all know I love to bring y'all along at the end of my videos now and let y'all see where I shop and the things that I find. And that way, when I put them up in videos, y'all have already kind of seen some things that I have found out thrifting. So let's go inside today and let's see what kind of treasures we can find. I'm so intrigued by wooden pieces and this piece right here was very intriguing not sure what it was at first i thought it might be like a recipe cookbook holder it was only 99 cents but comment below if you know what it is this piece right here is beautiful as is i did pick this up it was only a dollar 99 but that just screamed summer to me these decorative storage boxes right here were really pretty. I didn't get the price because I couldn't get them down. They were kind of heavy and they were stacked on top of each other and I didn't want to, to drop them. This right here was beautiful. I really wanted this, but it was $12.99 so I had to pass. But look at all the beautiful ornate detail on that piece. Right beside it were these two little planter pots. They were originally, I think, from Hobby Lobby for $12.99, but Goodwill had them for $5.99 each, which I thought was still a little pricey. I'm finding a lot of Ray Dunn at my thrift stores these days. Let me know if y'all collect it or if y'all love it or if y'all find it at, the thr if you're at your thrift store. But I saw this sign right here that was $1.99. Look at this cute little pallet wood snowman now i don't know if he's homemade or if somebody bought him like this they may have bought him maybe at a craft show he was only 4.99 i probably should have got him now look at this piece right here i kind of wished i would have picked this up because when i flipped it over i saw it had 5.99 on it but look down at the bottom it says ethan allen home collection I priced out some of these pieces. They run from $200 to the $2,000 range on some of the, the pictures. I didn't see this particular one. Y'all comment below if you know anything about them. Look at these beautiful carousel horses. Y'all, these would have been $200 for the set. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure what we would have done with them. They would be really pretty in like a child's room. But for $200, but you know, they would be a really unique conversation piece that's for sure they had the large one and then they had the smaller size i really like this little star right here i thought it was very rustic it's a christmas ornament for 2.99 but if you flip it on the inside look how pretty that would be you could use that for fourth of july or any kind of patriotic decor this right here was really pretty this was it said a 
white rocker. It did have um, a slip cover on it. It was $39.99 though. But I thought the slip cover was really pretty and it looked kind of cozy and I think it would be pretty like in a reading nook or something. They had three of these bird um, canvases. They were $1.99 each and as you can see they were once sold well, I was going to say Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if that was a Hobby Lobby sticker, but originally they were $13.99, but you could have picked them up on this day, got all three for $6. Y'all, I love Brighton brand. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Brighton, but they do. They make some beautiful purses and wallets. I've had several of their wallets, but this bag right here really caught my eye. I did pick it up. It was $6.99. It was very clean. You could carry this as a purse or a tote or just you know for a beach bag but I really loved it and so I did bring this home. Okay we are at the end of the video y'all but I've got some exciting news and I don't know if y'all follow me over on Instagram but if you do and over on Facebook you may have seen this but we are going to hold a free event at my friend Jackie's at Ruth and Ruby in Jasper, Georgia. I'm going to leave this information down below in the description box, but this is going to be a free event from 10 to 3 on September the 21st, which is a Saturday. We'd love to fill the shop that day with all of you. If you just want to come by and say hi and leave, or if you want to come and spend the whole day with us and have fun, that's great too. So y'all will be hearing more about this, but mark your calendars for September 21st come and meet me and make a make and take or just come by and say hey i hope y'all enjoyed the video today until the next one i hope all of y'all have a blessed week don't forget to check out costway and i'll leave all their information down below and another huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video bye y'all